and uh, it works. But it's the way we teach. The, the, the teaching method I developed about 20 odd years ago. I come in for a lot of hassle off people because uh, you see, you've always got to keep your hands up. I says, well, really, I says, the great fighters in the 20s and the 30s, they, would, they, would, they were very, very loose, they were very, very agile. And, uh, but they box either orthodox or southpaw. I start teaching orthodox southpaw switch, stand square on, a box from the side. This was five different ways. And Naz, when he boxed Steve Robinson in, in Cardiff, when he won the world title, he gave the finest display of boxing of what we teach, and people could not believe what had happened. But Naz... So I started off in Nottingham. Uh, oh, everything started in Nottingham. It's just that I left Nottingham to come to Sheffield. Mm -hmm. um, I went out to Brendan's, but everybody was standing with their hands up in the air like so, and yeah. um, one, two, one, two, and everything like that. And I, I literally changed his gym. I can remember the, the, I went up on a Sunday, I went up with this guy called Kevin Sheehan, who knew Brendan very well. And I was a bit disgruntled at my club, so I, I went to Brendan's gym. And I took my style with me, and he says, this is no style, this is, this is something stupid this is I want this and he wanted it and so ever since that day he changed his gym to do the same thing as I did and that's how the, that's how Brendan started he did a good job with mind you he changed everybody in his gym Robert Wakefield Mick Mills all the luck he tried changing the fighter he couldn't change a fighter but a lot of the other guys like um, changing Johnny Nelson Naz because Naz lived down the road from me and like it